The SEC, commonly known as the powerhouse of college football. Georgia, Bama, Missouri, Ole Miss, Tennessee, LSU, Florida, Texas A&M, South Carolina, Auburn, Kentucky, Arkansas, and Vanderbilt. The amount of NFL talent the SEC has produced is absurd. But is it enough to win a Super Bowl? I'd like to introduce everyone to Nick Saban in the multiverse. He's the head coach of the Houston Texans. But one thing remains true for Nick Saban. He has a massive bias towards the SEC. We're going to reset the entire NFL with a fantasy draft. I can only draft players from the SEC and in the future NFL drafts with auto-generated rookies, I can only select SEC players. So if we see a generational talent, but he's from the Big Ten, we can't take him. All right, Nick Saban, the fantasy draft begins and we start with round one pick 25. That's a late pick, but this is a snake draft. So we'll get round two pick eight. CJ Stroud is such a good option, but he's Ohio State. This is a tough spot to draft from, but I'm going to take Nick Chubb. He's 21 in true value. We take him at 25 out of Georgia. There may end up being a lot of Georgia players on this roster, just so we're clear. Nick Chubb is our first pick. Next pick, I'm going defense. I'm taking Minka Fitzpatrick out of Bama. Georgia into Bama. Georgia fans, I know you're salty about getting booted from the college football playoffs. But next year, it's the big playoff. Don't worry, George will be back. Andrew Thomas is 24 years old and he's a 90 overall left tackle. I'm gonna take him here. Game says I reached, maybe I did, but it's hard to get a 90 overall left tackle that young. I really want Anthony Richardson, but I don't know if I'd be reaching if I took him in the fourth round. I'm going to let him fall to the fifth, and we're going to take a different position here. Round four, I'm taking Kyle Pitts out of Florida. Vertical threat, already X-Factor at 22. The game's saying I got back-to-back -back reaches, but wow. Kyle Pitts turns into a 99 overall in about two seasons, so. Round five, this may be a reach for Anthony Richardson, but I want to lock up my quarterback. I don't want to mess this up. And Kyle Pitts will be happy to have another Florida Gator. I'm taking Anthony Richardson. Yeah, game doesn't like that pick. I don't know when he usually gets taken. I, I, I can't mess around and end up with Mac Jones back there. So let's go with AR-15. I suppose we need a wide receiver as well. Let's get Anthony Richardson, George Pickens. Oh boy. This is basically Georgia Bama. I got to find some other teams here. Jordan Davis is still available, which is insane. He should not still be available. But once again, I'm taking Georgia. Dude, I, I got to find a way to get... Does Vanderbilt even have it, a single NFL player in the league? Oh my God, a chance. A-Chan is so good, but I got Nick Chubb. Dude, I might trade Nick Chubb. Nick Saban drafted Nick Chubb just to trade him, but A-Chan is still available. Holy shit, A-Chan gets so good, it's not even funny. And I get to include Texas A&M. We're trading Nick Chubb. We'll see what we can get for him. Maybe I get some draft picks. Who knows? I, dude, I'm Nick Saban. You can't tell me what to do. You know, and I like this too, Charles Cross. So we do have a left tackle, but I can move Charles Cross to right tackle. He'll be a really nice young guy for this team. I'm surprised we have no L. LSU yet. Kentucky will have a player, Jamin Davis. It's actually a really solid young linebacker. It's it's really not even that bad of a reach. It's about a 30 player reach. Jamin Davis. I cannot believe it, but I don't have an LSU guy. Oh, dude, let's trade Nick Chubb and try and get Jefferson or Jamar. That's what we got to do. Let's pick up a young corner. I'm going to get Kyer Elam here out of Florida. I like him a lot, even if it's a reach. Here we go. We got an LSU guy, Damone Clark, star linebacker. I honestly don't know much about him, but I like that pickup. Here we go. Here's a Tennessee guy. We can get Josh Palmer. And they think it's a good pick. I like that. LSU, baby. Trey Turner. It's 30, though. I don't know if I can justify that. All right, here you go, Arkansas. Ricky Stromberg. He's hidden dev. This is actually kind of nice. He's ranked 1,163. Maybe that isn't kind of nice, but he'll be star, I guess. We got to fill every position, though, because it's got to be full. Lloyd Cushenberry, 25-year-old center out of LSU. Offensive line is built. We have no good options at free safety. I'm taking Justin Evans out of Texas A&M. We can get a veteran Pat Pete at corner. Honestly, not the worst take ever. He'll be good for a couple years. Maybe one or two. Dude, what do we do for kicker? Justin Tucker's Texas. Dude, oh no. Somebody, right? Carlson, Auburn. Oh my God, this is my first Auburn player. But honestly, Daniel Carlson's really good. He's superstar. That ain't bad at all. All right, Auburn, thank you. 
for coming through for me. I'm gonna go Leonard Floyd here. N'Kobe Dean is still available. That'll be our middle linebacker. He's only normal dev, but he's still a 73 overall. I can pick up Jalen Hyatt, Tennessee. He's actually good, dude. He's a fast wide receiver. 94 speed, 95 excel. Getting Josh Pascal. I don't know how you say his name, but he's out of Kentucky and I need a left end. Okay, I believe I have every single starting position as an SEC player. So I'm gonna sim to the end of the draft. Obviously these automatic rounds may not be SEC players, but I will make sure that every player that actually touches the field is SEC. We're going to have a lot of adjustments at the start, though. I got to trade Nick Chubb, and I want Justin Jefferson or Jamar Chase badly. All right, the initial lineup. Let's take a look here. Anthony Richardson, our starting quarterback. Nick Chubb will get traded so that Devon A. Chan can be my starting running back. We've got George Pickens, Jalen Hyatt, Josh Palmer. I need Jamar, Justin Jefferson. I'm going to look for Justin Jefferson. Starting tight end is Pitts. That's amazing. O-line's actually nice, dude. I have two studs on the edges. I've got a rookie at guard and my other guard and center really aren't that bad. Defensively, Minka's going to be amazing. I love Elam. I love Jordan Davis. N'Kobe Dean in the middle. Got Clark and Jamin Davis on the edges. Who is Clark? Oh yeah, Demo Clark LSU. Okay, perfect. Apologies, guys. I'm not too familiar with him. Free safety is trash. Justin Evans is not the guy we want. Pat Pete, Elam. Yeah, let's go get let's go get Justin Jefferson, dude. So the Tampa Bay Buccaneers drafted Justin Jefferson. I kind of want to keep George Pickens, but what about Josh Palmer? What if it was just Chubb and Palmer for Jefferson? Honestly, not too far off. I'll also throw in throw in a fourth and two sevenths, three sevenths. I'm going to throw in a third and a fourth. Okay, we're getting there. I think I'm going to have to give up a first. This dude is so expensive. It's not even funny. They're going to want two first round picks for him. We are so close. Nick Chubb and a second round pick for Justin Jefferson. That's this year's second, and it's a high second. Let's just include a seventh rounder and see if they bite. Boys, we got him. Nick Chubb, this year's second, fifth, and three sevenths for Justin Jefferson. Oh, I've never had him in a franchise. He's so hard to get your hands on. Now, even though we just added Justin Jefferson, I'm going to keep George Pickens as my slot wide receiver because Justin Jefferson is so good that he actually can't develop anymore. So I still want George Pickens to develop. So here's Nick Saban's SEC lineup for year one. Two X-Factors on offense. LSU, Florida. Florida at quarterback. Texas A&M at running back. Got lots of Georgia on the O-line. George Pickens, Josh Palmer. And then on defense, got Damone Clark, N'Kobe Dean, Jamin Davis, Minka, Kyer Elam, Jordan Davis. And honestly, I think defense is what's going to need a lot of help. So in this upcoming draft, I really have to hope that the secondary has good SEC players. Like, dude, there could be a generational free safety, but if he's from Michigan, I can't take him. That's going to be the real difficulty in this rebuild. But starting out with a decent team shouldn't have been too hard, and it wasn't. We're an 80 overall. Already got upgrades too. Season one is a winning season. We're nine and eight. Titans lead the AFC South. Colts are nine and eight. Jaguars are six and 11. Anthony Richardson finishes fourth in the NFL in passing yards. 28 attempts, 16 interceptions. Not that good. I wonder if he could really win Offensive Rookie of the Year with that. I don't know. They, ha they heavily weigh interceptions. Rodgers led the league, then Burrow, then Jordan Love. Then Richardson, Stafford, Dak, Lamar, Russ, Danny Dynasty, CJ Stroud's 33 and 8. Bryce Young is 34 and 8. I imagine those guys got it over me. A-Chan had 1,080 and 11. Really excited that he had a very good starting year. In fact, you know, maybe he got offensive rookie of the year. Although four fumbles. I don't know. It's a good season though for a rookie. Very good season. Receiving Pitts had 1,110 touchdowns. Pickens, 984 and 6. Jefferson, 905. I don't know. Maybe I do need to put him at slot wide receiver. I feel like that's not enough touches for the best wide receiver in the league. Nicobe Dean with 128, six TFLs, two interceptions. Pat Pete had five interceptions. Hello. Nice work. Six and a half sacks for Leonard Floyd, four and a half for Jim and Davis, four and a half for Dante Fowler, three and a half Derek Hall. I'd like to get Derek Hall more involved for sure because he's a rookie. Three and a half sacks, not bad. 12 TFLs for Jordan Davis, four and a half sacks for him. So that's a very good season for him too. CJ Stroud got MVP. Holy shit. I've never seen that before. Bryce Young gets AFC offensive rookie of the year. Richardson and HN close behind. That's unfortunate. They got close, but they didn't quite get it. And Derek Hall gets fifth. Not bad. Oh my God. It was CJ Stroud versus Bryce Young in the Super Bowl. Dolphins win. Fantasy drafts are fun. Anthony Richardson got superstar. Oh, he probably got it for his passing yards. Yeah, dev trait increased because he was a top five passing quarterback. So that's a really good start. We got a lot of young players on this team. 
So it's it's really okay that we didn't play too well this year. Nine and eight is actually still, I miss a winning season. Looking at free agency, we were able to get Keely Ringo out of Georgia. So he's already signed with us. Oh my God, Deo Odiyingbo, Vanderbilt. We can get a Vanderbilt guy. Hopefully he accepts his offer. I don't see how he doesn't. All right, it's time for the draft. This is where things are gonna get really difficult. So looking at the top five, I'm only allowed to draft two of these guys. Peter Cousins and Gabriel Rossum. I'm also not a top five pick, but just so you guys understand, Henning's Notre Dame, Justice is USF, and Hampton's Michigan, BYU, Tracy Arnold I could draft, Ty Goodwin I could draft. No, 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 no. Honestly, a guy that I'm targeting is Larry Redmond out of Georgia. Uh, this is about where I'm drafting. He's projected 19th. Hey, he's all right. He's definitely all right. We'll just have to see, boys. We're round one pick 11. We might even trade down. I don't know if we need this good of a pick. I'm going to trade down because there's another good corner, Brandon Bartell. He's 6'4". This is a 6'4 corner. Holy shit. Oh, do I even trade down? I'm kind of nervous I'll miss him if I trade down. Holy shit, this guy's a monster. Let's see if there's any decent options. Otherwise, I'm taking him right here. Let's see if someone will just give me a round one, like... A 2024 20, first round, 28. That's too late. Oh, this is risky. We're going to get a massive haul of picks from the Patriots for doing this. I just got to hope he's still there. I'm going to take it. That's a lot of draft capital, though. Oh, okay. I just need to make sure Bartell is still in there. If he's still in there, that was the trade of the century. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's gone. Brandon Bartell is gone. I have two options right now. There's Josh Whitfield, South Carolina. Strong safety. There's left outside linebacker Sean Wilson out of Florida, but I need a corner. There is another 6'4 corner, DeAndre Williams out of LSU with elite change direction, elite excel, good speed. I'm taking DeAndre Williams. What a bad trade down, dude. Bartell was a unit and he got taken. I only traded down eight spots. I thought he'd still be in there. This guy's still really good, honestly. DeAndre Williams has crazy good stats. He's just normal dev. Shoot. That trade down was so dumb. There's a free safety out of Bama, Bryson Beason. Normal dev, 6-1. That was the end of the third round, though, because I don't have a second round pick traded that for Justin Jefferson. Hopefully, I can use those picks that the uh, Patriots gave me and just get something out of it, man. Actually, these are the picks the Patriots gave me. I'll grab another corner. This one out of Texas A&M. 93 speed, 92 excel, 88 change direction. Another normal dev guy. Dude, I wait. I should have taken him. I'm so mad at myself. Dude, the only player that's even available our corners, Brian Ware, 6'3 out of LSU. I'm so mad at myself. I'm going to skip to the end of this draft, and then I'm going to see how good this dude was, and then I'm going to be so mad. All right, draft. Oh, shit. What? DeAndre Williams, my pick is a 78 overall. This dude wasn't a star dev? Dude, DeAndre Williams is insane. This is such a good pick. How are you normal dev? Dude, he's a monster. Might just be like a desire dev trait thing. I don't know, but it looks like um we got a... Oh my God, the computer took me a solid tight end. He's out of Boise State, so I can't use him. Brian Ware ended up being okay. These two were just total whiffs. That is one of my worst drafts ever. So the best players in the class, 83-83. Where's Bartell? Okay, you know what? I'm not actually that mad. Bartell is the same overall as DeAndre Williams, but he does have 94, 95 speed, 94 excel, so he's definitely faster. Okay, it's not the end of the world, but that is kind of sad. So our corners now are DeAndre Williams out of LSU, Keely Ringo, Georgia, and Kyrie Elam, Florida. Free safety still, Justin Evans. Strong safety, of course, still Minka. That definitely could have been better, but that's okay. Nothing we can do now, boys. Let's head into next season. Yeesh. Mid-season to season two, we are cooking. Offense is getting crazy good. Defense is okay. Smack the Packers. Smack the Dolphins. Smack the Jags. Smack the Bears. Smack the Jets. Lost to the Titans, who did lead the AFC South last season. And then we just beat the Bills. We're cruising. Keep it up, boys. I think we're going to the playoffs. Dude, this team is developing like crazy. Not only do we make the playoffs, but we got a bye. 13 and 4, just above the 12 and 5 Titans. Our first playoff game is against the Miami Dolphins, who actually are coming off a Super Bowl win. So this could be a very tough game. We'll get dev trade upgrades during the Super Bowl, whether we make it or not. But I just want to check in with the team. Richardson's looking amazing. H Chan's already up to 91. I'm so glad we traded Nick Chubb. H Chan is so so good it's stupid jefferson's looking amazing pickens dude the thing about jefferson is like he has an upgrade right now but can i even use it 
No, it won't even let me use his, that dev trade upgrade he has. Pitts is literally a 99 already. Offensive line looks great. Andrew Thomas is up to a 94. And then defensively, so DeAndre Williams is looking good. Elam's looking good. Ringo's looking good. We definitely need an edge rusher because my scheme is 4-6. So my pass rush comes from my edges and Pascal and Leonard Floyd are just not it. So if we could draft or sign in free agency an elite edge rusher from the SEC, that would be amazing. The rest this looks amazing. Minka's a 96. Evans is actually... Dude, I thought Evans was going to be trash. Justin Evans is all right. Stats and awards. Anthony Richardson now third in the NFL in passing yards. 37-9. A big leap from last year. A-Chan with 1253 and 15. God, he's so fun. I love him, dude. He's so good. Pitts, 1215. Jefferson, 1009. Pickens, 926 and 5. Josh Palmer, 728 and 6. So spreading the wealth there. That's awesome. Nicole Dean with 100 tackles, 5 TFLs, 1 half sacks, 2 interceptions. Nice work. 12? Yo! Leonard Floyd with 12 and a half sacks? You're fucking 31 normal dev. What are you doing, bro? Go retire. Live with your family. Why do you have 12 and a half sacks? Holy shit. That 4-6 defense is nice, dude. Pascal with 9. Oh, he might get a dev trade upgrade, actually. He might get a dev trade upgrade. If he did, that'd be nice. Jordan Davis had 3. He's been a little lackluster. I expected more out of him, low-key. DeAndre Williams, I was hoping more out of as well to maybe get defensive rookie of the year, but not with these stats. He's not going to get it. Let's take a look at the yearly awards, see if we got anything. MVP is Bryce Young. Oh my God. The young guy's taking over, man. DeAndre Williams is 7th in defensive rookie of the year. Bryce Young, best quarterback. Swift is best running back. Ayuk's best wide receiver. Wow, we, we played this well and got absolutely no awards. That's shocking. I guess we're not an awards team right now, boys. I'm going to sim through this divisional. I'm a little bit scared since they have MVP that... Yeah, we're just going to get smacked. We do. We lose right there. Next year, if we make the playoffs, I'm going to watch in on the games because I think we'll be ready to win. I can just kind of tell this team was not ready yet. It's cool that we made it, but yeah, we're just not ready yet. Oh my God, the Dolphins dynasty. Dude, in regular sim, I've never seen the Dolphins win anything ever. But Bryce Young is taking over the league right now. I'm, I'm kind of scared of him, actually. Uh, I could have taken him too because he's Alabama. Any dev trade upgrades? Maybe Anthony Richardson. Yep. Anthony Richardson, third in the league. That makes him superstar X Factor now. So he's going to be taken over too. Doesn't look like anybody else gets an upgrade. No, no other upgrades on this team other than Pascal. So he did actually get the upgrade. Josh Pascal, a guy I honestly don't know anything about. 80 speed, 92 XL, good block shed and power moves. Could honestly become a threat for this team. Edge rushing free agent. Are you available? There's literally nobody in free agency that I need. Free agency's a wash. All right, it's time for the NFL draft, boys. Round one, pick 28. Yeah, we had a really good season, so nowhere near as good of a pick this time around. There's an LSU wide receiver who looks insane, but I do not need wide receivers. I can't do that. Quincy Thornton out of Florida. I'm building the no-fly zone. I have been drafting a lot of corners but I want it. Elite agility, elite excel, great speed. I think this is my redemption. I think this is gonna be a hidden dev and it's my redemption. Quincy Thornton. 94 speed, 95 excel, 92 agility. End of the first round, hidden dev corner. That's my redemption. We still need an edge rusher. Couldn't find one in free agency. I don't think I'm gonna find one in the second round, but let's see what's available here. So Ole Miss wide receiver. There's uh, LSU right end. LSU right end, Ahmad Wilkins. Great strength. Solid speed, good acceleration, A play rec, B block shed. This is not bad at all. Oh my God, I didn't expect him to be hidden dev. I thought, I honestly just thought that that was going to be normal dev, but Ahmad Wilkins, LSU, this is a huge pickup. Going to put him on the opposite side of Pascal. He'll actually go in for Leonard Floyd, who's 31 at this point, so he kind of needs a replacement anyway. Round three, pick 23. This came from the New England Patriots in my trade down, so hopefully we can turn it into something here. An A hit power, B block shedding, B tackle middle linebacker out of Georgia. I'm going to take him. Devron Edwards. Nicobe Dean's currently normal dev, so Devron Edwards might be halfway decent. It's all going to depend on the overall with him. I, I kind of figured he wasn't hidden dev. Matthew Vogt is a guard out of Bama. Oh my god, let's go. Hidden dev, a pass block. He did kind of look like a sleeper, but I'm shocked he's hidden dev. 85 strength hidden dev. Good. Got ourselves a, a star guard for the future, too. At least a star. I guess technically it could be higher. My round four pick. I don't expect much out of this. I'm going to take this Ole Miss wide receiver, John Parker. He really doesn't look that bad. 6'2". He's all right. Normal dev. I'm going to end this one off, and we'll take a look at how good this draft class was. Draft recap. What was that first one? A. Hey! Quincy Thornton's a 77 overall hidden dev. 94 speed, 95 excel. Wilkins hidden dev, 72 overall. Edwards is a 72. 
No hidden dev, but Vogue, the left guard, is also hidden dev, 73 overall. That's a really good pickup. The rest of these guys are absolute bums. Probably should have traded those draft picks, but that's okay. We'll take a look at the entire class. The best player was a middle linebacker, Matthew Lindley, out of USF, with 90 speed, stud. Then it was a corner. There was a left guard, tight end, wide receiver, wide receiver. So we really did. We made a nice pick with Quincy Thornton. He was the maybe 10th highest overall player in the class. And I got him at round one, pick 28. So that's that's a steal. Not as good as Jaron Anderson, though. Second round guard at 81 overall. Yeesh. So here's the offense on year three. And you know what I'm noticing? So we had Justin Evans, right? But Keely Ringo has a safety build. He's 6'2", 207. Super fast. He can't tackle very well right now, but I'm going to put Keely Ringo at free safety, especially because we just drafted another really good corner. I'm excited to see if Keely Ringo can play this position well. I think he could be a monster. And I'm going to make Keely Ringo the sub linebacker just to get him a lot of reps. I'm really interested to see what he can do at that position. It's going to be a tough season. We're going to have a we're going to have a really tough schedule since we went 13 and 4. So I wouldn't be too shocked to see a little regression this season, but Anthony Richardson is now an 88 overall superstar X factor, so he should be really really good. This could honestly be another 13 and 4 season or we're going to be 9 and 8 and miss the playoffs again. Yeah, I was a little worried about this 3 and 4 at mid-season. Let's see if we do make the playoffs. I swear this always happens, man. If you get a really early good season, you always follow it up with a turn rash season we go seven and ten we don't make the playoffs titans are back to 12 and 5 form jaguars are falling off how did we play it looks like anthony richardson led the league how do you get 5280 passing yards and we are seven and ten and actually it almost makes more sense we were losing games so we were passing a lot 41 and 17 that's almost mvp numbers but that's still a lot of interceptions look at louis morales second year player at 4000 yeesh nice nice work taking a look at the texans that means a lot of people got a lot of yards. Uh, Eight chan 1,111, a little bit of a fall off. Makes sense. We weren't running games. Pitt's insane year. Pickens, insane year. Jefferson, insane year. Everybody went off. Even Eight chan had good rushing receiving. Uh, defensively, Keely Ringo with 98 tackles, three TFLs, half a sack, two interceptions. He's a decent free safety. DeAndre Williams, the second year, two TFLs, two interceptions. Elam with one TFL, one interception. Eight and a half sacks for Ahmad Wilkins. That's huge. Odi Yingbo with four out of Vandy. Jordan Davis, three and a half. Jamin Davis, three and a half. The J. Davises. There you go. Uh, Ahmad Wilkins, that looks like it could very well be a defensive rookie of the year season. Let's see. We're going to go AFC, defensive player of the year, defense, offensive rookie of the year, Blake Hicks. Tennessee Titans defensive rookie of the year, Ahmad Wilkins. That's huge. The Ahmad Wilkins pickup was very big. All right, you know, it wasn't our best season, but I'm I'm impressed. I think we I think we I think we did all right. Hey, look who got a dev trade upgrade. George Pickens. I lost my left guard, so now it's Eddie Bush out of Alabama. Ahmad Wilkins. So he got the dev trade upgrade from defensive rookie of the year. Honestly, nasty. So he's already superstar. Now a 78 overall. He'll develop really quickly like that. That ended up being an amazing draft pick, the Ahmad Wilkins. So we whiff in year one, but we make up for it. Quincy Thornton, hello? Hello? Quincy Thornton was superstar X Factor? Wait a minute. Did he have a dev trade upgrade anywhere? No. No dev trade upgrade. Quincy Thornton. I got Quincy Thornton in the first. I'm moving him to CB1. DeAndre Williams is CB2 and Elam at CB3. Ringo gets a dev trade upgrade at free safety. This defense is turning around and it's turning around fast. Holy shit. Oh, that's huge, boys. Honestly, that's so massive. So here's our specialist. Everything looks perfect. Pickens is doing exactly what we wanted. That's why we put Pickens at slot wide receiver was to give him those extra reps and it's it's working. And look at that. Justin Jefferson has four upgrades, but since he's a 99 at playmaker, deep threat, physical, and slot, you literally can't upgrade him. Like the, the, you... Which is, by the way, it's stupid because why can't I give him an upgrade that adds speed and acceleration? It's like once you max him out at 99, they don't let you go past that, but they're stuck at 94 speed. Why can't he get faster? I mean, it, it honestly does make sense. I'm just being a little baby. Regardless, this is a really good season. We've got a lot of good cap space and we're going to have another nice pick in this draft. We actually have, what? Is that from, the, there's no way we're round one pick six at seven and 10, right? How do we have this pick? Oh my God, we're actually the sixth pick in the draft. Holy shit.
I am shocked. All right, well, the top five guys up here, none of this is SEC. Yeesh, nobody's SEC. The first SEC guy I see is Jason Pritchett out of South Carolina. Yikes. I think we trade this down. No question I'm trading this down. Walt Jackson looks really, really good. Mississippi State linebacker. Great speed, really good skills but not good enough to justify me not trading away this pick. This pick is going to be very valuable too. There's no SEC guys to take. I got to trade this. Honestly, I'd just like to get some trade bait. Just some, some picks that I can trade around. Maybe two first rounders. Anybody want to offer that? A second, a first, a third, a fifth, a seventh. Two first rounders from the Titans. Two first rounders from the Saints. Two first rounders from the Ravens. Two first rounders, a second, a third, a fifth, and a seventh from the Falcons. The Chiefs are giving me two first rounders and actually a very powerful first rounder in 26. I'm accepting this offer right here. Wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, my God. It forced me to take someone. I took fucking Tommy Nelson. Oh, my God. That sucks. Dude, I thought that when you were trading away picks, I thought that it paused it for you. It does not. All right, I guess I'm drafting. I'm going to have to trade away that guy because he's not SEC, but I hope he was good. I'm going to take Marion Dillard out of Ole Miss. 95 XL, 88 speed. Uh, I'm going to trade away my third round pick. Just going to get capital in future drafts. They'll give me a 2027 20, second. I will definitely take that and trade that away. Same with my fourth round pick. I'm just trying to build some picks to make a big trade with. A third and a seventh from the Chiefs. We'll take that for my fourth rounder. Uh, I'm going to skip this to the end. I am really bummed out that it autoed me a wide receiver. I'm hoping that dude's a monster. If that dude's a monster, we could trade him for a lot. That's my best case scenario here. Let's see the draft recap though. All right. Okay. Tommy Nelson's a dog. Tommy Nelson out of California. He's a 78 overall. And then Dillard out of Ole Miss is 74. So I can actually keep Dillard for myself. The rest of these guys are bums. Nelson is a hidden dev. I'm actually going to keep him in. Oh, no, I can't use him because he's not SEC. I have to trade him right now. Putting him directly onto the trade block. And we'll see what we can get out of Tommy Nelson. The first pick was an 80 overall, then an 83, then an 80. And the CPU actually auto-picked me. A very nice player. There was an 80 overall corner. Actually, no, they made a very good pick. The CPU did make a very good pick. Best player in the class, a corner. Then a guard, Randy Spellman. There's a right end, Alex Torrance, round one, pick one, who's a monster. Wide receiver, Peter Hicks. Carry over 10. Any 99 speed, guys? No. Any 99 excel? No. That's no fun. 99 strength, D tackle, Eric Dobson in the third round, though. That guy's a freak. Dude, if I got Miles Garrett, we could make a massive playoff push. Miles Garrett's Texas A&M, right? Yeah, Miles Garrett's Texas A&M. He's getting a little worse because he's 30. He's got two years left, so we'd really need to win the Super Bowl, like, right now. Tommy Nelson is not worth too much to the Cardinals. What about some of those picks we got? Tommy Nelson and my first rounder are close to earning me Miles Garrett. Holy shit. Okay, then let's just trade away one of those extra picks we got. An extra third rounder next year. Oh, we're close. And an extra seventh rounder this year. So we'll retain our second round pick this year. We're so close. I actually have two second round picks this year, which is kind of lit. I'll get rid of both sevenths. Ah, we're right there. Come on. Oh my God. There is a sliver of fucking... Oh my God. <laughs> they didn't accept that. There we go. Okay. It's a little risky. I do feel bad too because uh, Josh Pascal was playing good, but it's Miles Garrett's turn. Dude, Texas A&M has actually had an insane impact on this team despite... What did Texas A&M? They were four and four, seven and five. Texas A&M was seven and five this season in college football. They got a big impact on this team. So Pickens and then on defense now, we've got Miles Garrett, Jordan Davis. We have an insane D-line. Backers are okay. I think backers is the weakest spot on this team, but they're still solid. We're on 90 overall right now. This team is looking really, really good. Three X factors on offense. Two now on defense, thanks to Quincy Thornton. All right, this should be a really, really good season, I'm hoping, because we just made the team so much better with Miles Garrett, and we should have an easy your schedule going seven and ten i gotta say though going seven and ten and getting round one pick six is absolutely criminal there must have been five horrendous teams just like one in 16 teams five and one at midseason oh we are gonna cook this is gonna be a good one boys <laughs> let's go another buy but this one is resounding 15 and two are we the best team in the league we are 15 and 2 record, four game win streak right now, which gives us hot morale. Vikings are next best, then Giants, Falcons, Chargers. Take a look at that regular season. Our only losses came to the Chargers in week three and the Eagles in week 14, but we have been utterly dominant. Is this Anthony Richardson's MVP season? I'm hoping. 4,638 passing yards, second in the NFL, 32 and 7. Devon Achan. 
1,319 touchdowns. Holy shit. 1,100 pits. 1,000 pickings, 984 Palmer. Wow, Justin Jefferson. I think I got to move him to slot wide receiver for the playoffs. Defensively, Ringo at five. Oh my God. That's the most I've ever seen. That's the most I've ever seen by far. I have never seen a player get 23 sacks in a season. Miles Garrett, 23. Ahmad Wilkins with nine. Jordan Davis with seven. Holy shit. Minka with four interceptions. Three for Quincy Thornton. Two for Nakobe Dean, Ringo, Williams, Elam. We were just monsters this season. Holy shit. You know, I don't think I've ever had a player win Defensive Player of the Year in a sim. I've never done it before, but I think I might have just done it. Offensive Player of the Year is ETN. A-Chan is second. Defensive Player of the Year is Miles Garrett. It's the first time I've ever done it. That's huge. Offensive Rookie, Larry Staley. Defensive Rookie, Zach Fant. Best Quarterback, T-Law. Best Running Back, ETN. Oh my God, the Chargers are insane. They have every single one of those. Yo, best D-line's Garrett, at least. I hope we don't see the Chargers in the playoffs, dude. The Chargers are looking really scary right now. Let's see. Let's go into this divisional and let's watch this because this could be our Super Bowl season for the SEC. Taking out Buffalo. This six seconds can be a cakewalk. I just forgot. I need to scout the teams. This is a fantasy draft. So this is going to be a totally random Bills roster. Is that Daniel Jones? Oh, oh, they still got digs. They got digs anyway. Usually I don't like to play. I don't want to vastly impact this lineup but we built such a cool team let's get a few plays in with them richardson pitts jefferson pickens and a chan devon a chan with all that speed a big juke gets to the edge another one i love him so much dude one of my favorite players in franchise oh, let's go play action now now they're thinking about how fast our wide receivers are or our running backs are laser to pickens caught nice catch i think we go kyle pitts on just a high ball here Let's try it. Mm, maybe not. Uh-oh. Tried to roll out. That pocket collapsed. Trey Hendrickson not having any of my shit. Good. There's Pickens. Nice catch. Damn, he's really hanging on to it. Pickens looking really good right now. Third and three. Let's go inside zone to eight chance. See if we can get a push from that SEC O-line. Good. Oh, I took a little stutter step to dodge, and I don't know if that paid off. I'm gonna try one more to A-Chan. You gotta dive this pile. Fourth and inches in the playoffs. A-Chan. Ooh. Ooh. Matt with a backer, but got it. They expect a run, so we're gonna pass. Anthony Richardson on the ground. He's fast. 90 didn't stand a chance. AR. It's not AR-15. I need to change his jersey number. Let's go with a fake to Andrew Thomas. Danny Carlson. But it's not to him. It's Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton to Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts gotta make a juke. He does! <laughs> Honestly, he didn't even make a juke. Just broke the tackle. We're in, baby. Now let's play a little defense. Defense has a lot more of the rookies on it. You got Ahmad Wilkins and Miles Garrett, who for some reason are in the interior. But it doesn't matter because Quincy Thornton, the X Factor. Oh my God, this game is over holy shit quincy thornton i'm jumping to the end of this game i don't see how they possibly win this game another touchdown for the texas this is gonna be a blowout 22 to 3 obviously i helped my team here but i don't think they needed it ah maybe they did 29 to 10 29 17 they holy shit is this a fraudulent playoff w dude if i 29 to 24. Me stepping in there was big. Dude, Danny Dimes outplayed. Well, no, I guess he had the pick six. Richardson, 17 for 20, two touchdowns. Devon A. Chan, 103 yards, five yards per carry. That's how you win a ball game. Uh, and then defensively, Matt Milano, 13 tackles. Two and a half sacks, Miles Garrett. Huge interception for Bryson Beeson and Quincy Thornton. Bryson Beeson, Bama. Bama free safety, not bad. I don't even know how you came in. All right, we advance to the conference championship where we take on the Pittsburgh Steelers who are also eight and nine. They've got Jamar Chase though. Let's see that roster. Let's see that Steelers roster. So our roster got Minka, Kyle Pitts, Anthony Richardson, A-Chan, Jefferson, Miles Garrett. That is a lot of 99 overalls. Andrew Thomas, George Pickens, Jordan Davis, Palmer, Quincy Thornton, DeAndre Williams, Jamin Davis, Danny Carlson, Kyer Elam. Solid team. Jamar Chase, Carlos Hampton, right end out of Michigan. Trey Smith, Denzel Ward, Laramie Tunzel, Jabril, Jalen Thompson, Kyler, Zach Charbonnet, Dalton Schultz, Rashad White, St. Just, Brian Irwin, Oscar Colon going to Crimson Unis today. They go stupid. I'm going to give myself four offensive plays. Four plays on offense. And then I'm turning it over to our team. And it looks like on the first play, holy shit. 
We're actually... All right. I guess it could have been worse. Carlos Hampton, the 99 overall, just fucking blew that play up. Oh my God. Second and 13, Justin Jefferson in single coverage. We love that. He caught it. <laughs> Jefferson. There's my second play. Oh my goodness. That was scary. And absolutely nobody blocks. And we're sacked again. Yikes. That was a super weird play. Very unfortunate. Second and 18. It's my final play right here. I'm going to go into George Pickens. Caught. And that's a first down. All right, boys. It's up to you guys to close this game out. Houston gets a tutty out of it. Steelers have got nothing yet. 14-0, 14-7, 21-7, 28-7. Oh, we're smoking the Steelers right now. Looks like Daniel Carlson's going to hit a 60 here. Hello. Drill it, drill it, drill it, drill it. Holy shit, what a dog. Daniel Carlson. Second and 11, destroying the Steelers in the AFC Championship. We're in victory formation. <laughs> Not really, but A-Chan pretty much just ended the game. No timeouts used yet. I wonder if the Steelers will even use them. Yeah, no, they've conceded the game, understandably. I don't know how many. I don't know how you could put up 25 points in 40 seconds. It's going to be a few handoffs to A-Chan to end this one up. There's second and nine. This looks like it'll be the final play of the AFC Championship. Damn, it's a good thing we got past the Bills. This one was a cakewalk. Final play. It's a nice little TFL. And that's ball game. Nick Saban's going to the bowl, baby. Super Bowl week. The yearly awards. Joe Burrow gets league MVP. Anthony Richardson came in sixth. Our Super Bowl is against the New York Giants, who appear to have Bijan Robinson. What else do the Giants have? Giants have got TJ Watt, Jalen Waddle, Hawkinson, and Bijan, 499s. McDuffie, Javon Holland, Cam Curl, Nelson Harris, a superstar. Zach Tom, Demarcus Lawrence. Ooh, this is a nasty team. They got Scooby Sherrills, Desmond Ritter at quarterback. Hell yeah, this is gonna be a good game. The all SEC team has made the Super Bowl. And Devon A. Chan, oh my God, I just noticed. Devon A. Chan officially is a superstar. He got the dev trade upgrade in Super Bowl week. Did anybody else get it? I don't know. Four plays on offense, four plays on defense. I'm gonna throw defense in there. Let's huck one deep. Justin Jefferson caught. First and 10. Big game, baby. It's a packed stadium. Everybody's ready to see us ball out. We got to come through here. I want to go deep. I really do. A-chan. Who's on A-chan? Break it. Oh, nice catch. Second and four. Go play action here. I'm going to give George Pickens a corner route. I don't know who's guarding George Pickens in man coverage, but I pray for you, buddy. Oh, never mind. Good defense. Got a bit of an unlucky rub there. I only got one more play, so we're going to go yard here. Gun dagger. Josh Palmer, is it your time? There's a lot of pass rush on that defense. Oh, boy, there's a lot of pass rush on that defense, but we made one miss, and AR's up. Big stiff arm. Oh, my God. I don't know how he stayed up. First and 10. I got my four plays in. I got to jump to a change of possession. Hopefully, we score here. Three points out of it. Let's play some defense. Got Edwards and Kobe Dean in the middle. I'm going to stay on Edwards. He's going to chuck one deep right over Quincy Thornton. It's a nice hit, but caught. What do we got here, gentlemen? Oh, why, why won't I let me switch players? I'm stuck. I can only play on one player. I'm player locked on Wilkins, I guess. Oh, I don't like it. It won't let me switch. There you go. Finally lets me switch after a huge completion. First and goal. How did I get player locked on Wilkins? You know what? He's going to... We're going to lock up. Let's go. Damone Clark. Second and goal. Dude, why am I stuck on Wilkins? This sucks. All right. I'm, I'm pulling out the pass rush moves, baby. It's my third defensive play. So we got to lock up here. Oh, no. Missed. Third and goal. It's up to the team now. I'm out. Let's see if we get a stop here, though. Third and goal. Desmond Ritter. Will he snap this? Two... One, he won't snap it. Going to the next quarter. Desmond Ritter! Hawk down! Hey, look at the... Is that Quincy Thornton on the, on the corner blitz? This guy's proven to be amazing. That's fourth and goal. They're going to take the field goal. Oh, boy. Three to ten? Ten to ten. Oh, my God. Quick scoring. New York gets a field goal and a touchdown. Oh, no. We got to score right here, Texans. We got to score right here. 10-20. Anthony Richardson checks down. Good throw right into Justin Jefferson. He's 12 for 20, 200 yards and a touchdown. Second and one. No field goals here. Hand it off. Oh, no. Give that to A-Chan. Okay. Give it to him anyway. First and goal from the three. I hate that we pass here. Give that shit to A-Chan. He's so good. Why are we risking it? Why are we risking it? AR throws a pick. 
they take over on the one. Although this is safety territory. Miles Garrett, we need you, buddy. This is safety territory. Hands off up the middle. Guys, it's so obvious that's a run up the middle. How are they getting seven yards on? 17 to 20. Wait a minute. What did we just score on? We just got a 73 yard touchdown. No. Oh my God. I missed it. Holy shit. All right. I'll look back at it in the highlights. We stopped them from chewing the clock. We scored a 73 yard bomb to somebody. I don't know who, but the Giants have three timeouts. Are they really going to choke this Super Bowl? Oh my God. Giants have three timeouts and 57 seconds. Big pass rush. Big pass rush. Sacked. Second and 18 unloads to 99 overall. Hawkinson caught. That was an insane play right there from Ritter. Come on, boys. They can't kick a field goal. They got to get in the end zone. They're running out of timeouts. Miles Garrett. Oh, he's such a monster. I don't even know how he got that ball out. Miles Garrett just tossed his man. Second and 10. Do it again, Miles. Do it again. And this puppy's over. No pass rush that time. An excellent ball, Ritter. And it's out of bounds. They don't got to use their final timeout. Yikes. Bijan in the backfield. Jalen Waddle. Oh, a delayed corner blitz. Leaves Hawkinson wide open, but he doesn't get out of bounds. That was super risky to not get out of bounds there. 33 seconds, first and 10. If anybody's tackled in bounds, they got to spike it. Huge blitz. Oh, what a blitz. Keely Ringo. Free safety Ringo. This is what I'm saying. Look at the clock. They got maybe one, maybe two plays left. They got to throw in complete. Or does he go end zone? Ritter's going to step up. Sick. That might be the Super Bowl. It is. <laughs> Jordan Davis seals it. Oh, my God. Piss poor clock management. Hawkinson needed to get out of bounds. And the All-SEC team is going home with the rings. Oh, my God. Who? I got to know. Who scored that touchdown there at the end? Desmond Ritter being a good sport. Anthony Richardson just might be your Super Bowl MVP. Oh, he is. If you get hoisted, you're the MVP. Minka's holding him up. Bring that trophy out, Saban. Yeah, that doesn't exactly look like Nick Saban, but we don't ask those questions. Anthony Richardson's up there with Minka, Miles Garrett. I see Keely Ringo. I see some auto-drafted players. Wow. That's awesome, dude. That was a hell of a Super Bowl, too. We came back. All right, let's talk about this, though. So... They're up 20 to 10. Anthony Richardson pass to Devon Achan for a 73 yard touchdown. That was what it was. I'm telling you, man, those fast halfbacks just changed the game. He deserved it, though. Look at this stat line from Richardson 353, three touchdowns. Bijan was nine for 107. Yikes. Achan was four for 22. Six for 131. Jay Jetta, six for 116. Achan, they both had a touchdown. Honestly, some of the best players on the team. I'm so glad they stepped up. Pitts was solid. Palmer had a touchdown. And Pickens literally did nothing in the Super Bowl. Zero, zero, zero. Yikes. Quincy Thornton, two TFLs, one sack. Two for Damone Clark, one for Ringo. Ahmad Wilkins. Wait, it was Ahmad Wilkins who made that stop at the end. He's number 99. What a game. All right, boys. Here's the conclusion of the all SEC rebuild. Honestly, this was kind of difficult, but the SEC is absolutely the best conference to do this with. So if I do this with Big Ten or Pac-12, really anything else, it's going to be way harder. So if you guys want to see that, please let me know. 99 overall backfield with Richardson and A-Chan. You got 93 Pickens, 99 Jefferson, and 90 Josh Palmer. 99 Pitts. A solid offensive line with 99 Andrew Thomas. And defensively, we were able to get Miles Garrett, Jordan Davis, drafted Ahmad Wilkins. Keely Ringo's a superstar now. We drafted uh, Quincy Thornton. Minka's a superstar star now nicobe dean Timon clark jamin davis deandre williams honestly all it took was a couple really good draft picks a huge trade for miles garrett we took that shit all the way home this is a squad boys all right y'all hey i hope you guys enjoyed i think i'll do big 10 next that should be significantly harder i don't think we'll be winning anything four years in that might take six or seven at least but all right boys i love you thanks for watching as always i'll see you guys in the next video peace